Hello guys, welcome back to a new episode of the Inventory Tutorial System. I'm your host Lucas and today we're finally going to do the stackable items. But before we do anything, I made some changes in the inventory script and I would like you guys to follow. I will upload this script at the end and so you can download it from the description. What I did was to make some comments because the, the code was starting to get all messy and we don't want that because it starts getting messy and then it's hard for us to follow up so I made some very overall comments click down, click pressed, click released and also I make this function this function was giving me some errors because we were not checking the child count of the selected item so whenever we didn't have a, an, an, a child on the slot that we were uh, targeting it throw us an exception and so you can change that as well so maybe you can post the video now and you can yeah from here you can fix that so now that you're finished fixing that we're going to start making the stackable items so first of all we want to open our item script and the first thing we did was to add the public integer amount so this will show us the amount of items that there is in a single single slot and in the games I usually play only some kind of items like potions or uh, some quest items can be stacked up but for example this sword should not be able to be stacked so for now we're going to use the type consumable and miscellaneous as a condition for the item to be stackable if not, if it's equipped, we will not uh, stack it. So the first thing we want to do is drag a slot to the inventory. And now we're going to drag the item prefab to the inventory. Now that we've done that, we want to go to the scene view and we're going to add a new UI object and this time it's going to be a text. The text we're going to write or type the number one because we just have one item and we are going to change the width here because now you see it's very wide we're going to change it to 30 and finally down here in the paragraph uh, part of the text component we're going to align it to the right and the height will be in the center or as well you could place, place it on the bottom and it's better that we have a width of 40 times 40 which is the size of the slot so we're going to align the text down on the bottom right and whenever we increase the size it will increase to the left so yes that's our text object and we're going to change this to um, count dot text now we can apply the properties to this item prefab and we can delete all of this and we can try to run the game and now you see all of our items have a number right so what we have to do now is access this health potion dot uh, count text and then we have to change the text based on the count the amount that we have here so to do that we have to go back to the inventory controller and we have to go when we release the click what we have to check is if our type uh, sorry <clears throat> well we have to check if it's the same game object that we're targeting we're going to delete the item we were holding and we're going to add one to the count of that item that's what we're going to do so so here's where we swap the item what we used to do is just put one in the original slot and put the other one on the local uh, I mean the current slot but we want what we will not do that now what we have to do is we must set up new conditions so the first condition is if the selected item dot name is equals to the child of the selected slot if the selected item name is equals to the selected slot child's name so 
we are going to increase only if selected item and the selected slot item are the same name and as well we need to check if the selected item so I'm going to place these properties down here because they're getting many the selected item dot get component item dot type is equals to item type consumable and here we need a parenthesis because we're going to check or selected item dot get component item so let me put this let me tidy up a bit here guys sorry for that so I'm going to put that up here and the parentheses I'm going to put it back down there so this is that there and this one down here and that should be ready to go so selected item and nope selected item the component item dot type equals item type miscellaneous because we said these will be the types that are allowed to uh, be stacked right so now here I'm going to make a new comment uh, here I'm going to say stack items and if this condition does not meet we're going to swap items so we don't need you anymore so if these conditions meet we're going to stack the items if not that means else else we're going to do this and if, and if you just saw me do that you can press alt and then up or down to move the line of your code so if it's like this we're going to <clears throat> do that else we're just going to put the selected slot item into the original slot and then for each transform t in the original slot we're going to set the, their position to zero and after that we're going to do the rest but let's try this for now let's debug.log we stacked two items and let's try that right now so these two are um, we don't have any items that meet the condition so we're, we're going to do is going to find a health potion and we're going to copy it put it in another slot and we're going to set it back to zero and we're going to change the name so they have the same name and now we can try and we stack two items yes my friends so now what we have to do is delete the previous one of the two items uh, probably I will delete the one inside this one because later on we're going to keep doing something and if we delete it it will not be good so select selected item dot get component item and we have to create a function to increase the count shall we so public void uh, and increase amount we just need one parameter and that's the other side for example I have a stack of two items and three items and if I merge them I'm going to add my own amount plus the amount of the target item so here we're just going to make an integer and we're just going to call it a for amount so here I'm going to set the amount plus equals a and that's it and the other thing I need to do is change the text for this item so what I'm going to do transform dot find that is the 
is count dot text. And if you want, you can change that count to amount. You know what? Let's do it right now because we need to be consistent. So we're going to the prefab. This is called count text. I'm going to change the name of this. Can I? I'm going to change this name here to amount text because I want to be consistent with my script and my editor. And we apply this, we want to apply this and delete it. So amount and we're going to find amount as well. So transform.find amount.text.get component. Okay, before we can find the text component, we need to declare that we are using Unity Engine dot UI. So now, if we type here text, we see we get the text component, and we are going to get the text variable, and we are going to say that it is the amount. Sorry, equals amount dot to string because it's a number and we want to make it a string and let's see now if this is working but before that we have to call it over here so selected item dot get component dot increase amount and with uh, the parameter we want is the other item which is this one selected slot dot get child dot get component item amount so that's the parameter we want in this function and then we can delete that other item but let's do that later let's try this first now we have to duplicate the red potion and we're going to change the name as well so they have the same name we're going to put in another slot we're going to reset the position to zero now we can try this drag and drop and what happened let's see let's see we have the amount text one is one and the other one is zero okay so definitely something went wrong right there something went really 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 wrong Oh yes, because <laughs> I forgot to set the amount of <laughs> the items. So here we're going to start this public amount as one because every item should be at least one, right? Before it was zero, so zero plus zero is zero and that's why we got zero. And also we have to change that amount here in the item prefab. So now we can try it one more time. I'm gonna skip this. And now we can try it. And here we go. There is the number two that I wanted to see. So here's one and here is two. So now we just have to delete the original. I mean the selected slot one and we can stop the items finally. So <clears throat> yeah, we're almost there, almost there. So inventory controller. We are going to take the selected slot get child and we're just going to destroy it so we're going to use the function destroy and just like this is this a transform yes so we need to make it a game object because we want to destroy game objects not transforms and just let's make sure that we're not using this after we destroy it so I'm going to control find it and the only time we use it after that is in this else statement, so we don't have to worry about that. So now we're good to go. Let's go try the game again. Fast forward. And here we go. Boom. There you go. Stackable items, baby. So um, if I do it like this, they will just swap around. And if I do that, and maybe in the future, if we like, press control and like we drag it around we're going to just take one potion but we'll do that later for now just uh, be sure that you can um, have many items so I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please keep asking me questions if you have any problem as well just let me know and please 
help me to hit that like button it will mean a lot to me and and remember as well to subscribe to my channel I don't know why I'm trying to make a, a profile picture for this channel but for some reason I cannot Google Plus is not allowing me to but I will keep trying and in the future when I get more subscribers I would like to make a game with you guys uh, so we can have some kind of community game that we can all do something maybe some of you can make some of the scripts maybe some of you can uh, make some of the art for the game and we can put it on Steam or maybe the Google Play Store any anything like that and of course every one of you will be in the credits but yeah if you would like to do something like that please let me know in the comments and show me your support by subscribing and liking this video hope you guys have an awesome weekend and I will see you on the next episode goodbye peace